Good afternoon. Uh, hope all of you had a hearty lunch. I, I sort of uh, look myself today here more as a student rather than an expert on this and it was a very educative session for me in the morning. Um, uh, well, uh, I, I am actually quite a staunch supporter of open access if one, one looks at it that way. And uh, when Mr. Raja was uh, chairman of the EMEA Regulatory Commission, I had some opportunities to get into some of the issues related to the reactive power pricing and uh, open access uh, from, from some of the industries in the uh, Navi Mumbai belt. And we had quite a bit of uh, discussion on that point of, of time. I, I kind of sort of think that uh, I kind of echo the sentiments which uh, we heard in the morning, which is that uh, there seems to be a conflict of interest in terms of uh, MACDCL taking up the job of uh, also enforcing the open access regulations. I very much do understand their concerns. Um, regarding loss of revenue and so on, but then essentially that essentially brings in a strong conflict of interest position and there, in my opinion, should not have kind of been done. The other thing is that any new subsidy, I'm kind of opining on what I heard deliberated in the morning, deliberations in the morning, any kind of new subsidies which are being promoted in certain part of the state should not automatically translate into new surcharges on Others, it has to be basically, uh, the money has to be, you know, so to say, earned out of your savings. You know, you can't promise dole outs by saying that I will borrow from someone else and dole out to somebody else. I think that is quite clear that it is going to harm the industrial economy significantly. I mean, I don't think it requires much thought about it. Uh, third thing which I sort of felt was that <laughs> there was this issue of secure energy meters, uh, raising the issue of metering of, um, uh, of the agricultural sector. And I do strongly believe that anything free has to be metered. Otherwise, you know, the morning deliberations did not pitch upon the fact that free is also equivalent to wastage. And, uh, oh, you know, anything that, is, uh, anything that is free is not valued. It is usually wasted quite a lot. In fact, I felt happy that I am not an industrialist after what I heard in the morning. I am a professor. I felt I relieved that I don't have much of stress and strain. You know, so <laughs> to, be, to, be, to be honest about that. And uh, now this session is more about renewables. And uh, I think uh, if we uh, take renewables uh, in a positive sense, I think we have to sort of think of it as a renewables as a boon and use it to cut down on many of our ATNC losses. For example, agricultural consumers can be given out of renewables. You know, when do you, fortunately, when you need power in India, you also have sun there. It's not like you need much power in the night. You need it in the daytime and you have more or less sun, solar and so on. So if you uh, distribute the renewables at the distribution level and bring it close to your pump sets or your consumers or your AC loads or so on, then it can actually reduce the burden on, um, on, the, on the distribution company to buy from outside. So the more the renewable is distributed in the distribution system and brought closer to the free consumers, so to say, who, who are in need of that electricity but are, are in a position to pay and are not paying, paying due to political reasons, uh, favors, or are actually poor and are not paying because they cannot pay. There are both of those class of consumers which are sitting there. But either of, irrespective of whom they are, if you, you take this PV penetration closer to them, then the burden on the discoms is more or less likely to come down and that would make also that that would also be able one will also be able to control the uncertainty of the renewables i mean forecasting renewables is uh, is uh, is i mean for for i hear people talking of forecasting as if it is scheduling 
and i say oh wow was if only life was so simple you know like forecasting is not scheduling you know the moment you say i forecast it means you you are bound to err if you don't agree that you are bound to err then you are not you are scheduling you are not forecasting and if you say forecast 4 minutes from now or 5 minutes from now there is no big challenge in that you know that you already know much about it it's like what is it tomorrow or what is it day after tomorrow or so on so the point is that you have to uh, you are going going to get renewables india has a very nice sunshine we have to tap that power but we have to bring it closer to the uh, to the actual demand and may not necessarily go for hundreds and thousands of megawatt solar plants maybe distribute it across the grid bring it closer to the free consumers i would say more closer to those free consumers so that if it is not there you can curtail it out also schedule it down also and then you can use your uh, uh, the coal power or whatever which is scheduleable and then use it when you really don't need it to supply that so i think that's that's the main point which i want to kind of make with respect to the renewables which we are talking about and on pricing i don't have any direct uh, statement to make because i think uh, it, that problem is not going to be solved here probably that problem is not going to be solved in in another 10 years also so i don't i don't i don't feel much about talking about it either thank you